JA, a disappointing result. Um, are there any positives you take out of that one? Uh, well, not many. Uh, you know, we, we, we did much better the second half. I think the, the biggest problem with us is our individual mistakes and um, we just got punished. And uh, credit to Heidelberg. Uh, you know, they, uh, they bullied us in the first 15 minutes and we fell into the trap. And we've talked about not to be doing that. Just play a football and uh, we didn't. So you know, it's a harsh lesson for us, especially the first half. I thought second half we did quite well. You know, we hit the bar twice, had some good chances. You know, you know I suppose that's, that's football, but uh, we didn't deserve to get anything out of the game, no doubt. But uh, uh, it's something that you know, we'll, we'll look back on and think about what's, uh, what went wrong and what we have to fix very quickly because we've got a game on Thursday. What do you, um, how do you describe your emotions for that game? Is it one of surprise or disappointment? or where, How do you feel at the moment? Well, I don't feel good at all. I mean, you've lo- we've lost a trophy that we've held home for the past two years. and uh, you know, But I suppose it's, well, it's one of those uh, situations where you gotta, you worry that, you know, why have we conceded four goals today? Uh, it's, it's not just not good enough. You know? uh, where, where did it go wrong? So we'll analyse the, uh, the video and um, hopefully relay that to the players, what the problems were. Uh, we'll make sure it doesn't happen again. You've said obviously you're going to review the video, but there any th- sort of things that are self-evident that stand out that were quite obvious today? I think our individual mistakes. Uh, you know, we, we've conceded two goals from our mistakes, wrong options, and we've got to we've got to stop doing that because we've been doing it all pre-season, and uh, you know we haven't been punished by good clubs and clubs like Heidelberg and Oakley and South Melbourne and Avondale. They'll punish you, um, so. You know, we conceded too many goals, so we've got to see where, where the problem is and uh, fix it very quickly. How much credit do you give to Heidelberg and what do you make of them this season? Yeah, look, Heidelberg's a quality team. They're very powerful and, uh, you know, if you don't match them in, in the physical department, then uh, they're going to overrun you. And, you know, they're, uh, uh, they're a good team, but, uh, you know, we, we can't... I, I'm not gonna, couldn't care less what they do this year. I care about what we're going to do. And, We've got to look at uh, our issues at the moment and uh, we've got a few of them and we've got to sort them out as quick as possible. How happy have you been with the pre-season overall? Uh, not overly, not overly. Uh, I mean, the effort's been sensational. The boys have been very good, but, um, you know, our, our performances uh, have been trying to, you know, really... We, we started off with a, a new system and uh, we thought that, you know, we, we don't have the players for that at the moment because we've lost some very key players. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. We've got what, what players we've got, and we've got to deal with it. And uh, you know, we reverted to the second half. We went four three three. It worked much better for us, so we may have to stick to that. Why did you do that? The change. Well, I felt that um, we needed uh, to get more out of our wingers. Uh, I think we create making their fullbacks not given not getting the ball as much, whereas our wingers would follow them and creating a bit more space in the middle of the park, which we had, you know, Tyson got the ball quite a bit in the second half. So did James Kelly and uh, even Val um, So, you know, we, we've, we, we had a lot more of the ball, uh, you know, and so it was better for us and we really created some great chances and great some counter-attacks. So, you know, we'll take the positives from that second half and uh, hopefully, um, you know, relay that and try and do that for 90 minutes. You obviously review this one on the video and take what you need from it, but um, on to the next game against Daniel Thunder, a massive game. Um, I believe you've been down and had a bit of a scout of them. What do you make of them this year? Yeah, look, that's, like I said, this is going to be the toughest NPL season for, for a long time. And, uh, you know, teams uh, like Dandenong and all the teams that have come up from, uh, from you know, second division, they'll, they'll, be, they'll be very strong. So if you're not at your best on the day and you, you, you make mistakes, you're going to get punished. And uh, that's what happened to us today. So we make sure that we eliminate our mistakes and play a football that we know. Uh, and I'm sure we won't have a problem. Good luck, thanks, Wayne. Thank you.